Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. 15 degrees. Look at those sunshines across the bottom of our screen. Judy Witsey is joining us here today. I want Wiltsy is joining us. You are the program chair down at Columbia College in the program that, that is there to help young people who think, you know what? maybe police work and it's been in the news about trying to get more police on the street explain what the program is Judy well the program is designed for a number of uh, careers in the criminal justice profession so whether you want to get into policing or into something like animal and bylaw services uh, corrections officer youth worker um, customs that sort of thing anything like that uh, we provide a really well-rounded program to give you the uh, both the theoretical skills and the practical hands-on skills that you need to be successful when you go out into the work world. Hands-on, nice line. Uh, now, we're, before we do our fingerprinting, this, this type of program runs how long? I want to take it. It's actually a two-year diploma, yeah. but it only takes you a year to get it because we run an accelerated program where we don't take any breaks. So you'll start, let's say we had a class starting in August here. Yeah. They will run straight through to August of 2009 without any breaks. And then, and then at that they're point, they're done. They're done, and they're ready to go to work. Now, at that level, then, does that help my chances? That does, does it does it assure my chance of getting into the police force if that's what I want, or how does it work? No, it certainly doesn't assure your chances, but I think it increases your chances because, again, uh, we're teaching you those practical skills. Um, we have members from the Calgary Police Service, from Animal Bylaw Services, Corrections that are on our board of advisors, so they're aware of what we're teaching. They have input into what we're teaching, so I think that we really provide them with those skills. And the knowledge that they need to get a good start. Let's talk about those skills and knowledge. Um, we're going to learn, you're going to show me how you fingerprint something. So, what do I got to do first? Okay, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to put on some gloves here. Yes, this is not medical. Gets, it gets a little messy. Yeah. And that's what I hear. I hear that the whole, it's not tidy, this work. It isn't. All right. And I should say that I don't actually teach the forensics class. We have a <laughs> fellow teaching it who's a former member of the Calgary Police Service who has 30 some years of experience. You're going to show us this, your but, six minutes. But I'll it. teach you what I do know about it. So. I bet you know a lot more than me, so we're fine. Okay, well, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, because this is a dark surface, here, yes. and we're going to fingerprint these mugs, we're going to use uh, a lighter colored powder so okay. that it'll show up better. And we're going to take a brush. I'm going to take a brush out of here. You can take with that one out of I here. I can, yeah. Okay. yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of powder here, and you don't want to get too much on. You want to take a little bit of powder, Yeah. tap it off, and then you're just going to do this to get Whoa, rid of the excess. Oh, that's fine powder. It is. I told you it was going to be messy. Yeah, it's okay. It's a dirty job, Dave. I understand. And then what you're going to do, just give it a little twirl with your finger. Put okay. it in between there and give it a little twirl. There All you right. go. Okay, now you're going to pick up your mug, and you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to twirl on your mug. <laughs> this is fancy. I've got a little too much on there. But you're going to twirl on your mug here. Just dust your mug. <laughs> okay, and just twirl. Oh, look at yours is working. Oh, look at what you got happening there? I found a criminal. There you go. See? You're a natural, that. Dave. You're a natural, man. Book him, Dano. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So then what, and then what we would do is we'd take this, and I'd bring it to court, and then I would take everybody to jail in about 10 minutes. Is that how it works? Not quite. No. Uh -huh. Something a little different. What you do <laughs> is uh, then you would take out one of these hinge lifters here. All right. And like a hinge lifter. Uh, what you do is you peel it apart here. And yeah, uh, get the. It's a little hard to do with the gloves yeah, on yeah. here. I'm trying to peel this. And then that'll give us a picture here, on the. You want to get the. There we go. Peel off this part here. Yeah. And then you're gonna take this. Okay. You go ahead and take that. There's the sticky side. And. And put it on your fingerprint. So get it so it's nice and smooth there. I'll put it right on this one. Right on that one there. That's a good one there. Okay. And if we want to rub it down. If people want to sign up or find out more, there's a website. Where can they go? You can go to our website, which is www.columbia.ab.ca. Uh, I think I did this totally then, wrong. And then close it up there. Yeah. There you go. This is, this is what we like to call moderately brutal. <laughs> but the professionals, and you can learn to be the professional. Go to the website. You'll find out all about the faculty members. They have great people in there, and if you're interested in this line of work, this is the program for you. It's good of you to come by. Thanks very much for having us. This person is going to jail. <laughs> Andrew Schultz, I'm going to send somebody to jail, I think.